Yeah, Skellis and Anderson did a podcast, and it's just, <laughs> I like these guys a lot. But, absolutely. I mean, for crying out loud, every J.J. Dillon, Jim Ross, I mean, everybody who had the role throughout history of having to be the scapegoat, I mean, every single one of them, when they're no longer with WWE, they tell you the exact same story. It's always Vince's call. Like, they're telling the story about how Paul Heyman, like they weren't going to be, here's the story, we weren't going to be cut, but then Paul Heyman put us on the cut list, and we got cut. And then AJ found out about it, so AJ went to Vince, and Vince claimed, I didn't want them on the cut list. And so AJ got mad at Paul and demanded to be moved to SmackDown. What? If you are hired or fired, it's Vince's call. I mean, Jim Ross did this job forever. He'll tell you the same story. J.J. Dillon, all of them. Somebody has the bad cop job. The Reaper. And their job is to tell you, whether it be Carano or whoever, that's their job to be the conduit between you and Vince McMahon. But it's Vince's call. If you're fired... It's because of Vince. If you're hired, it's because of Vince. I know people there who have actually never met Vince. Somebody else hired them. They work under somebody else. Like, they've never even talked to the guy. You know what? It was his call that they were hired. That's that's it. That's how it's always been. And I, you know what? There's always, there's always where there's smoke, there's fire, okay? There probably was some sort of list. I mean, maybe the list was, you know, if, who do you not have in your plans right now? And maybe Paul put Gallows and Anderson on the list. So maybe there actually was a list. But the idea that Vince didn't want them fired, but they were fired because Paul put them on a list? No! No! The other thing they were mad about was they came back and they were almost immediately beaten by Drew McIntyre. Uh, in a in a one on two match, okay. Now, yes, it's possible that that is Paul Heyman's idea, but let's look back historically. Let's look back at at promotions that Paul Heyman actually booked, okay. How many times in ECW do you remember one guy beating the tag team champion single handedly? Anybody? Anybody remember that happening? Now, let's look back at WWE history, when whether Paul Heyman was booking or whoever. How many times do you remember one guy beating the tag team champions? Oh, 85,000 times throughout history? That's a Vince McMahon trope. He's been doing that since forever. So, I mean, I don't know for sure, but I will say that when I hear, oh, Drew McIntyre beat the tag team champions or a tag team, like a named tag team all by himself, I mean... You think the first guy I think of is it must be Paul Heyman? No, it's Vince. He's done this forever when he's building somebody up. Anyway, that's what they said. But hey, now they're going to be working New Japan and at Impact. They admitted they should have just gone to AEW. People make mistakes. Things happen. But unfortunately, the way that they went to WWE, I don't think you're going to be seeing them in AEW anytime soon. But at least they can go back to New Japan, which I think is probably where they'll be happiest anyway. So, more power to them. I have nothing against the guys. You know, AJ, I guess, thinks the earth is flat or something. I mean, people believe crazy things. Doesn't mean they're bad people. But, I mean, I, if, if they believe that they were fired because of Paul Heyman, I got news for you. Well, it's not because of Paul Heyman. And maybe it's just, you know, misguided frustrations on AJ Styles' behalf. Maybe it's just him knowing that, with Paul Heyman out of a position right now, you know, would it be good for AJ to bury Vince McMahon? You know, no, of course not. So he's probably taking it out on a guy that if he if the, maybe Paul Heyman didn't have them on a short list to go away, but he wasn't on their short list to push. I mean, look at the guys that 
look at what Paul Heyman has historically done and how you want to use older guys. At some point, you want to use those guys to put over your younger guys. You don't want to have a lot of older ones around. And in WWE, Paul Heyman was going to be, you know, at Vince McMahon's mercy that way. So he had a lot of people to deal with. But he had his Aleister Blacks, his Apollo Cruises, his Ricochets, his uh, Umberto Garzas, his this person, or Carrillo's, his Garzas, his this person, that person, that he wanted to focus on. And AOP was one of those teams. Uh, Street Profits was one of those teams. So at some point, I'm sure Gallows and Anderson were going to be shuffled out. But also, when you're making that kind of money, when you decide to go back for that kind of money, if that's what they wanted you to do, I mean, I'm sorry. I just think about the Brian Pillman approach when Bill Watts was going to job him out because of all the money he was making. It's great. Great. I'll just be the highest paid jobber out there and I'll still figure out a way to go ahead and get myself over. And I don't think that they would have had any issue with or any problem with that. I, I don't believe it. I've been watching Anderson and Gallows for way too long. If that's what they wanted him to be, I could see them being frustrated by that. But ultimately, I don't think it hurts what they would have done in New Japan three years later. I don't think it hurts them now to go out there and do that. I don't think there's almost anything WWE can do with most guys, especially guys that had gone to WWE. They're not WWE born and bred from day one and moved to, you know, your Rybacks and people like that that have come up through the system and people think about them as WWE guys. When it comes to like Gallows and Anderson or anybody else, I don't think WWE can hurt your image at this point because I think hardcore fans that know those people know that this is what is going to happen to you once you're in WWE. I don't think there's a, a stench of WWE that can be really put upon a, a lot of guys anymore. You there? Y yeah. You just fizzled out there. I just cut that right off there. No. Give hey, you a listen, chance to jump listen, in. everybody. Rambling on too long. Everyone, listen to me. Let's stop rambling. Let's talk some facts right here. Oh, yeah. Have you guys ever looked up and seen a full moon? Yes. Have you ever seen a crescent moon? Yes. Okay. Do you know why sometimes it's full and sometimes it's a crescent? Because because the earth the, the earth the earth mm -hmm. is moving in front. It's moving between the moon and the sun. Mm -hmm. That's is why you see that. Okay. Got it. You know why it looks like that? Because the earth is round. Ah. Have you ever seen a plate? What was that? <laughs> do you know what uh, a Do you know what a plate answer. is? You ever seen a plate? Okay. Yes. A plate is round and flat. Okay. Spin a plate around. Yeah. All right. Well, when you turn the plate sideways, it's a straight line, okay? You ever looked up at the moon and there's just a straight line through the moon? No? Well, you don't see that because the earth isn't flat. Why is it so hard to figure out? How can you think the earth is, is flat in 2020? I don't know, but if you, you look so up, oh, wait, you look up and you see the moon's round. And you look up and you see all the stars and all the other planets are round, but we happen to be flat. We're like the one planet that's flat. That doesn't even make any sense. Why is it so hard to figure out? Do I need to explain masks next? Because I can. Let's say that me and Mike are standing in front of each other and we're naked, okay? If I pee on Mike, he's going to get wet, right? Am I wrong, Mike? I guess. Okay, if you're wearing pants, like a mask, and I pee on you, you're still going to get a little wet, right? Were you on Facebook Okay, so if we're both wearing pants, and I try and pee on you, you ain't going to get wet. Odds would go down. Yeah, you've been anybody, be straight up in this the is air. not rocket science here. Mm. The, the moon, the, the earth being round is not rocket science, okay? <laughs> Even though if you get on a rocket... Like, it's easier to figure this out, because you actually go there, and you look down, and you go, Oh, look at the Earth. It's round. I got photographs of it that I took from, from space. I was trying to keep this about wrestling. Dude, the reality I give up. That, Forget but... wrestling. I mean, come on. And you know what else? If you get fired from WWE, it's because of Vince. Not Paul. Not Bruce Prichard. Not whatever his name is, Carano. Semen. Back in a moment, Observer Live.